Syria's president says any U.S. military strike against his regime would be based on lies. Seth Doan is in the capital of Damascus. He is the only American network correspondent inside the country. Seth, good morning. Good morning. As the U.S. and its allies contemplate ways to punish Syrian President Bashar al-Assad and forces loyal to him here in government-controlled Damascus, the focus has been on advances they've made on the battlefield. Syria's government is gaining ground in formerly rebel-held eastern Ghouta, so much so that Russia, Syria's strongest ally, declared victory in the biggest town there, Douma. Though notably, the Syrian army has not. It says the battle for the Damascus suburb may not be over. Rebels and residents are being bussed from the area in an evacuation deal with the government. Friday is a day off here, and it was quiet this morning in central Damascus. Are you afraid about a possible strike? No. We've been holding on, Omar Rahibi explained, and at war for seven years. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad has appeared confident and unfazed. Thursday, he met with representatives from Iran, another ally, and said that the U.S. posture is a reaction to progress on the battlefield. At a cafe down the street, we asked about Saturday's alleged chemical attack. The response was unanimous. These men asked, why would Assad use chemical weapons if Syria is winning the war? It's all lies, Abu Ali told us. Remember, this is government-held territory where support for Assad runs deep. And also, as this war grinds into its eighth year, we've heard from people that they are weary and do not want to see it escalate or enter a new phase. John? Seth Doan for us on the streets of Damascus. Thanks, Seth.